morning everyone so in upcoming videos i'll be solving the mcq question for nepal engineering course in illustration examination so basically i'll be solving for computer engineering syllabus so in last video in last um, playlist you can see i have solved this 3.1 section so in this uh, in upcoming videos i'll be solving 3.2 and so on so without any further delay let's go to the topic so the topic is pointer structure and data file in c programming so this is very important topic okay so let's go to question number one so it says okay it says what is the result of adding an integer value n to a pointer ptr in c okay so what it says is like if we have declared any pointer variable so what is a pointer a pointer is nothing but it points to the address of any variable okay so suppose you have got the address thousand and if you have declared a variable int a and there is a pointer variable star p and if it is pointing to if, if it is uh, storing the address of a okay so what happens if you add any variable if you add any value to this pointer variable so the size or we can say the address of it increases the address of that particular variable uh, with the value n we can say so for example uh, if it is thousand and if you are going to add p plus one so it increases the value to thousand two because it is an integer variable so the value is increases increases by one but to thousand two if you add here plus two so it increases the value to thousand four okay so what is the result of adding an integer an integer means this one value n to a pointer ptr in c so integer value n means if it is one it increases by one if it is two it increases the address by two times we can say okay so it is an integer value so if one then thousand two if two then thousand four if three then thousand six like that if it was float so if plus one it, it will increase to thousand four if it is care it increased by thousand one like that we can say okay so increases the value of ptr by n bytes no increases the value of ptr by n times the size of data type yes see n times the size of data type so in this example the size of data type was two so it is increases by n times the size of data type it points to increases the value of ptr by n times the size of pointer itself no raises the compilation error no so b is the correct answer b is the correct answer okay let's go to question number two in c a pointer variable to an integer can be created by declaration so how we declare a pointer variable for an integer so it is declared by star of p so b is the correct answer sorry uh yes b is the correct answer for this int star p okay let's go to question number three here it should be b question number three given an integer given an integer pointed int star p how can you access the value it points to okay so how can you access the value it points to so if we have a pointer variable this so for getting the address we use ptr as it stores the variable as it stores the value of the variable and for getting the value of this a we use the dereferencing operator which is again a star of ptr so a is the correct answer yeah a is the correct answer here okay let's go to next question which of the following statement is true about pointer arithmetic and c pointer uh, pointer arithmetic is limited to addition only no we can do subtraction multiplication also so this is not the answer pointer arithmetic automatically scales the integer value based on the size of the data type yeah so in last example we saw if it was int star of p and if you are adding one to it it was automatically scaling the address yeah based on the size of the uh, data type so this one can be correct answer let's see other pointer arithmetic can be formed only on any data type of pointer except the function pointer no pointer arithmetic can only be formed a pointer to array no okay so b is the correct answer for this let's go to next question which of the following is a valid expression for incrementing a pointer by one element 
okay so we can either write ptr or if it is denoted by p then t plus plus or we can write p plus equals to 1 or we can write p equals to p plus 1 so i think d is the correct answer all of the above okay next question is what is the value of star ptr plus 3 okay so you know this is the pointer plus 3 and a star means it is dereferencing it okay if in front of a ptr if i use a if i use the sign of this star it means it is dereferencing means it is giving the value okay it is giving the value if this star is not there so only this one it is giving the address so what is the value of a star of ptr plus 3 if the point if ptr is a pointer to an integer array and ptr is initially points to the first element of the array it means that if this is the array and ptr is already pointing to this so what will be the value of ptr plus 3 okay so ptr plus 3 it means it is 1 2 3 it will be pointing here somewhere here but as star is there or dereferencing is there it is going to point the value so the value of the fourth element of an array yes the address of the fourth element no it is already is dereferencing is there the sum of the first four element no a compilation error no a is the correct answer here the value of the fourth element in an array okay let's go to next question uh, a is the correct answer so prior to using a pointer variable it should be okay so before using a pointer variable first of all the pointer variable needs to be declared as well as it needs to be initialized with some value of a variable that is the address so both declared and initialized okay which of the following statement is correct about k used in below statement okay so this is something like char star 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 k okay so if it is a char this is called a pointer variable if it is a char star star k this is called pointer to a pointer or it is also called double pointer okay it means that normally a pointer variable it's point to the address of normal variable but a double pointer it points to the address of another pointer variable not a normal variable so a star of a star of k it is called pointer to pointer or double pointer so a star of a star of star of k will be called pointer to pointer to pointer to character so four star will be called pointer to pointer to pointer to pointer to a character so b is the correct answer okay sorry for the answer so b is the correct answer here in c which of the following statement is true regarding pointer comparison okay two pointers can be compared using relational operator i think that is uh, not the answer okay so pointer comparison are not allowed in C. It is allowed. Two pointer can be compared only if they point to the element of same array. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Okay, pointer comparison are only allowed for pointer to function type. No, so C is the correct answer. So it is already given. Okay, what is the result of dereferencing a null pointer in C? Okay, so it raises a runtime. Dereferencing means uh, a pointer which is null and we are going to find the value so it, it raises a runtime value no it returns the value 0 no it retrieves the data type at the memory location pointed by null pointer no this is not the answer it causes undefined variable behavior yes it can show an undefined behavior like anything it can show any error it can show so d is the correct answer here fine so in next uh, video uh, i'll be coming up with pointer and array passing pointer to function structure okay so i'll try to cover all this topic in the next video so
if you have any question please let me know thank you